Well, I don't have to tell you, Teslas are everywhere on Southern California freeways here and elsewhere around the country. U.S. traffic safety officials are paying special attention to how automated technologies, those self-driving cars, do when they're on the road. It was a devastating crash. The Tesla crushed after slamming into an overturned semi on the 210 in Fontana on May 5th. The Tesla's owner, 35-year-old Stephen Hendrickson of Running Springs, was killed. The truck driver and a good Samaritan who stopped to help him were seriously injured. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Hendrickson was a Tesla enthusiast, posting often on social media, sometimes from inside the car. In this video, not the one. showing no feet on the pedals, no hands on the wheel, clearly comfortable with the system. The CHP says they haven't ruled if the autopilot was used, saying there has not been a final determination made as to what driving mode the Tesla was in or if it was a contributing factor to the crash. They also say autopilots should be used with care. This is an opportunity to remind the public that driving is a complex task